Jonas was working at the, the hospital and he was hands-on with like, COVID patients, so I found it uh, overwhelming. We started working in, um, on a floor where they just didn't bother even asking us if we wanted to work with COVID patients. They just said, you're working with COVID patients. Um, this is what it is. During that time, uh, you know, having Alpha help put things in focus. It was a positive experience during such a time of unknown. We belonged to St. Ignatius, the parish, and we would go to church every Sunday, and a few other parishioners had mentioned it to us and, and invited us to come. And as much as we wanted to, the fact that, you know, with our young kids and work schedules, it just never, we were never able to go. You know, I was raised Christian, but at the same time, I'm, you know, like, a, I can remember my dad telling him, and like, me and my brothers, okay, here's the car, go, go to church. Let me take the car, we go, we go play ball instead. You know, let me come back an hour later. I, I grew up in it, and it was more of a cultural thing than a, I, I did believe, but it just, you know, uh, loosely. The reason why I wanted to join Alpha was I just wanted to have a closer relationship with God. It was better than what I expected. You know, like, I, I looked forward to it every week, and I really liked the, the group that I was part of, and I felt like as the weeks went by, we got closer and closer and more open. Growing up, it was like, always felt like you always to earn God's grace. You know, and this, in, in Alpha, I was like, it's, you know, it's like, no, you have to you just ask. It became almost like a, an intimate family that I would enjoy looking forward to talking to every week. And for me, that was like one of the best parts. And there was people from literally around the world as sometimes during the prayers you would hear it was almost like singing but like different languages you heard like spanish and then like i don't know russian and then english and then french you know and like it was just it was nice it was nice to hear that <laughs> i smoke marijuana and I, like i want to kind of like okay i want to kind of take control of that so we started praying and i was just like you know so i was just singing the prayer and i just like you know like i was feeling the prayer through you know, as if he was there, and uh, like I started to cry, and it was like uh, the next day, like, no cravings, no nothing for marijuana. Like that happened virtually. Like I didn't need to be in his presence, you know, while he was praying for me. And so Alpha was giving us that momentum to kind of go out and go and just trust and, and spread his word because you want to share this with as many people as possible. You know, it's like, it's not because you want to do it for yourself, you want to do it because you want to help people. You know, uh, you, you've had that perspective already of, you know, uh, in the material world in a sense, you know, living by the flesh. And now we've been shown how to live by the spirit and, uh, you know, and how much it's transformed us, changed us, you know, to, to not live with fear insecurities or you know uh, be ashamed of like what you've done in the past it's been a difficult year and I get it for sure but uh, for us it's been like the best year of our lives at the same time I'm grateful to Alpha because it's brought my family closer it helped us get through difficult times yes. you know to rely on God and you know and just be happy live a happy life now you know uh, not not tomorrow but now and uh, Alpha has helped do that for us.